what's the highest paid programming technology out there? It really depends on who you ask. Some people might say Python, as it's a popular language that's used by many companies, and the demand for Python developers is steadily increasing. Others may point to Java, which has been around for longer and is used in a wide range of applications. Others may point to Solidity given all the hype around Ethereum and blockchain. Probably others will think Go developers are the top earners since this programming language is laser-focused on simplicity and performance. However, the reality is far more complex than that and the truth is that none of these technologies are in the top five. Today, we'll be discussing the top paying technologies in the world. We are basing our ranking on the latest Stack Overflow report. This report is based on a survey of over 73,000 software developers from around the world and provides valuable insights into the current job market for technology professionals. The methodology of the survey involved trimming the top approximately 2% of salaries and replacing them with threshold values, which were different for those inside and outside of the US. The technologies included in the survey were determined by looking at the most popular and fastest growing tags on Stack Overflow. The final list of technologies was curated by synthesizing all of this information. Before starting, click the subscribe button to be alerted when we release similar videos. This will encourage us to continue working on creating content you will like. Let's start. First, let's take a look at the highest paid programming, scripting, and markup languages. At the top of the list is Clojure, with an average salary of $106,000. This is followed by Erlang at $103,000 and F-Sharp at $95,000. Lisp and Ruby round out the top five with salaries of $95,000 and $93,000 respectively. It seems that Clojure is the most paid. According to some opinions, they often have more experience than their peers in other languages. Many developers come to Clojure after years in other languages, so they are often more senior and therefore generally paid more. This suggests that seniority is a factor that contributes to the high salaries of Clojure developers. Others will say that a Clojure developer is a niche job, which means a high pay. Next, let's talk about databases. DynamoDB tops the list with an average salary of $94,000, followed by Couchbase at $90,000 and Cassandra at $81,000. Neo4j and Elasticsearch also made the top five, with salaries of $80,000 and $78,000 respectively. Moving on to platforms, Colocation comes in as the highest paid with an average salary of $111,000. This is followed by AWS at $81,000, IBM Cloud or Watson at $75,000, Linode and Microsoft Azure at $74,000. It probably seems counterintuitive, but developers that have co-location experience are paid more than their cloud-only counterparts. In the realm of web frameworks, Phoenix takes the top spot with an average salary of $94,000. Ruby on Rails, Play Framework, Dino, and Gatsby round out the top five with salaries of 90, 88, 78, and 77,000 dollars respectively. Other frameworks and libraries also see a range of high salaries. Apache Spark leads the pack at 87,000 dollars, followed by Apache Kafka at 83,000 dollars and Hadoop at 76,000 dollars. Tidyverse and .NET also made the list with salaries of $74,000 and $70,000 respectively. Finally, let's discuss tools such as infrastructure as code and other types of tools. Chef comes in at the highest paid with an average salary of $120,000. Pulumi follows closely behind at $111,000 with Terraform at $100,000 and Puppet at $95,000. Homebrew rounds out the top five at $87,000. To summarize, the highest paid technologies in the field are Clojure, Erlang, F-Sharp, Lisp, and Ruby for programming languages. DynamoDB, Couchbase, Cassandra, Neo4j, and Elasticsearch for databases. And Colocation, AWS, IBM, Linode, 
and Azure for platforms. It's important to note that these figures are just averages. The other important thing to note is that as a developer, you are usually required to master more than just a single tool or a programming language. So that's why these numbers should be taken with a grain of salt. Factors such as experience, location, and company can all play a significant role in an individual's salary. However, this report could be helpful as it provides a useful snapshot of the current job market and can be a useful reference for those looking to enter or advance in the tech industry. That was 5 Minutes Programming. Don't forget to subscribe and check the links in the description to join our weekly newsletter. Every week we share the best tutorials, tools, and tips from the programming community. So stay tuned and join us.